Hello students, today I will teach you the most important topic, direct and indirect speech for standard tenth, as it is very much important for CBAC. Weightage of this topic is three to four marks. So why are you taking risk of losing these marks? Let's start with its learning. Okay, so be ready with your paper and pen and note down. The rules and examples. Be ready and be quick. Don't miss out anything. What can you see here? See, I am going to teach you direct and indirect speech. What can you see in the picture? All the people are doing conversation when they are talking with one another. It is called direct speech. But when they will share this conversation with other people, it is called indirect speech. Okay? Now coming to next slide. As I have already told you about direct and indirect, uh, indirect speech, so here you have to start with its rules. What you have to identify, please pay attention. Identify speaker and listener. Change pronouns, reporting verb and tense. Don't change reporting verb tense. This is the most timely point. Where you have to learn a lot, you have to change reporting verb. But no, don't change reporting verb stands. Change reporting verb as per type of statements like request, question, commands, and universal truth. Okay, let's do some examples. What are this? Can you read it for me? I will read it for you for better experience. Examples request. Seema said to Rima, could you please be quiet? What is the answer? Seema requested to Rima to be quiet. Come on. The doctor said to me, stop driving during night. The doctor told me to stop driving during night. Order. Get out of the prison. The policeman said to the prisoner, the policeman ordered the prisoner to get out of the prison. We will learn more about interrogative, universal truth and some more simple statements. In next class, till then, take care. Bye-bye.